So, okay, we're back into the squad for this weekend's game against France. Must be excited. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back in the squad, obviously, this time round against France. Uh, good to miss the Wales, but um, I'm just happy to be around the environment again. It's really good to be around the girls. And what's camp been like these last two days? Um, it's it's actually been a mix of up and downs. I feel like um, we've trained really hard, and I think you can tell that in like the team run we've just done. I think it's been so successful, and um, I don't think we've trained like that ever. Like this this time round, it's been amazing. Um, and the downs, we've we've had real heart to hearts to get to know each other as players, and I feel like that will push us to work harder for each other. And I feel like that that is what we're taking into the game, knowing that we are a full team and we'll work hard for each other. So you've come back to the side, and then Kira Bennett and Court. Winfield Hill are both going to debut for England this week. Two of your teammates at Leeds, what can we expect from them? Um, I think from Keir you can expect one of the most incredible passes uh, from Hooker in the league. I think she's been outstanding and for her age I think she's really broadcasting a talent. Um, and for Courtney I think all you have to do is watch us play at Leeds and you can tell how much she runs the show and uh, she's a, p- a pivotal part of uh, Leeds at the moment. And for you personally, you made your debut against France back in 2018 for England. How have you, how have you changed as a player in, in those three, four years? Um, well, I think the fact that I've, I've, I've moved positions of, about, um, moved positions a bit. I think going from full-back, wing, centre, I, f- I feel like I've become more versatile. But um, I've still got the same game plan in my head. Uh, I feel like playing for England, I've, basically the motto has always been just work as hard as you can. Um, and I'll never go away from that. So I think whatever happens on the day, I feel like I would have done that back then. So um, there's a few physical changes in myself, but nothing too much mentally. And that versatility, do you think that helps it, you, helps you when it comes to England? I certainly hope so, uh, in the fact that um, I can always be an option. But um, I, I, I want to be able to master quite a few skills, um, jack of all trades I hope, uh, so that's kind of the edge that we're going for. And France, what are you expecting from them? Um, I think from when we played them last time there's going to be a few changes um, and we're not going to expect anything less of what they gave out last time. I don't think the score line really reflected the game but um, I think we've improved and they'll probably have improved so we'll just see how it goes but I'm very confident in the girls that they'll be able to get the job done. And just finally, how important is it that people get behind England women and England men tomorrow? Well, I think leading into the World Cup it's pivotal to be able to back your own country and I think in games like this it's really what you need to go into that and I think getting behind your country we need to be able to play in the big stadiums with the big fans and I think if people get behind us that'll that'll show enough um, getting to the point for the World Cup. 